Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, making my way towards the Rum River State Forest here in Minnesota. It's a brand new state forest for me. I've never been here before and I'm really, really excited to be taking the travel cabin out here to do some winter camping. The forest is stunning. As you can see, there's a lot of birch trees mixed in there. Those are those white ones. I have familiar places all over the country that I've camped at before, and it's always nice kind of when you know where you want to camp, but uh, there's also the excitement of the unknown. That's where we are at today. Ooh, look at this, you guys. Looks like we got a nice little spot back there. I think this is pretty good, actually. And it's cold really cold. I want to go take a little walk right now just to kind of get the lay of the land. Now when we're hiking like this, it's really important that we make sure we know where we're headed. So the cabin is right there. Um, it would be so easy to get lost. So I'm taking a, uh, a compass bearing and also we're just, we're not going to go too far. <laughs> oh, I love Ellie. You're a good dog. And a great adventure buddy. Yes, you are. If I look around here, I'm just looking all over. I have no idea really where we came from. I know it's somewhere off in this direction. <laughs> I'm really glad I got a compass heading and, and know the general direction. You did a good job, Ellie, leading the way. Let's get inside and warm up. Oh no, I forgot I locked the door. Oh, that's the worst. When your hands are just like freezing. You're trying to get your keys. There we go, we're open. Oh, so much better in here. tell you, just to be able to take this time to come out and just disconnect. Come on, Al. Oh, I gotta fix this floor for her. She really doesn't uh, like the grate there. I think before we really settle into the cabin and make dinner and all that good stuff. Um, I want to make a little fire and just kind of enjoy the woods a little bit. This is just such a cool spot. I'm still just blown away how we've got like the farm way over there and got endless woods it seems this way. Nice, huh? I think it's time to uh, make some food. Let's start whipping up some pasta.
this is going to hit the spot. Something that I found kind of funny and interesting is how freaked out a lot of you guys get with the fact that I don't put the blinds up and I just kind of sit here staring out into the black. Yeah, I don't know. I do close the blinds when I go to bed though. That I do. All right, I think you guys know what time it is. It's time for another night hike. I scared you guys to death, a lot of you, when I went on a night hike last time I was out at the travel cabin. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I love it. So earlier we were off trail, but I'm pretty sure this is a trail right here. As you can see, it's cleared out. Let's see where it goes. Ellie's always down. <laughs> Ellie. Good dog. Good dog. Thank you for coming. Cow, she just loves it out here. We can't see the cabin anymore. And uh, I think that means it's time to go back. Furnace is, is working away. That is very good. Come on, Ellie. Let's go. And we're back. What do you have here? What is this? Let go. Let go. What is this? Hey. Hey. It's like some, like, food. Dude, no. You don't need to be doing that. No. Okay, come on. Let's go. We've got it in half bed mode. It's kind of just like a big lounge chair, you know? What do you think? It's pretty cozy, huh? <laughs> it's time to head to bed. And uh, as usual, I am going to make the coffee so that it's ready to rock and roll in the morning. <laughs> that says it all. She's up. She's up. You're a good doggy. All right, go on. Oh my goodness, we have snow. Holy cow. Uh, okay. It's officially winter. Wow. this you guys literally sitting here as the light comes out watching snowfall warm inside the cabin what do you think Kelly <laughs> winter wonderland wow Good girl. It's so amazing. So I think we're gonna take a little walk on the trail we were on last night. And then unfortunately, it's gonna be time to pack out of here. Uh-oh. I just got back to discover that our heater quit. Uh-oh, this is not good. Oof. I think we ran out of juice. Yep, we are out of juice, that's not good. Okay, I have a backup supply here. I have no idea if this is gonna help this thing. I think this is one of the uh, really bad things about these cheap diesel heaters. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but like, if you run out of juice, there's no protection for the machine. 
and it just shuts itself off, which is not good. It's not what we want because that damages the, I think it's the glow plug, but I'm gonna see if I can get this thing running quick um, just so I can do a proper shutdown. It's a bummer that we ran out of juice, but uh, a couple things. One, it's good that it happened when we're leaving. Two, I'm glad I brought backup power. And the takeaway is we need a bigger battery source for the cabin. Ellie, come here. Good dog, good dog. <laughs> No, you guys, the key broke off in this hitch lock that I have here. Oh, this could be so bad. I think I might have a shot of being able to hammer it off, but if not, I'm gonna have to leave this here and oh, go figure something out. So let's, let's see if I can hammer it off. Well, there you go. Shows how secure these things are. Really? Wow. Well, at least I'm not stranded here. That is gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for joining. It's always exciting when you are out in nature and especially when you're out in the travel cabin. I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you as always for your support. We'll see you next time.